Hello there, I'm Kark. In today's video I will be showing you how you can actually install the single player console to your MW2 single player. The first thing you need to do is locate your MW2 folder. For me it's on an external hard drive and as you can see I have my other Steam games in here but you just need to select this MW2 folder and copy it and paste it somewhere for example in your desktop or another um, external hard drive will do. Okay, now that you have copied your MW2 folder, make sure it has the folders main and zone and all of these other uh, folders here that are needed in order to run the game. And it should also have some DLL files and um, IW4MP and IW4SP. Now, before we install anything, make sure to make a backup of this. So just copy it and paste it in the same folder here and you can rename it to something that you know that uh, it's the original one. For example, I have named it IW4SP, but added the org in the end, meaning original. And in case I happen to somehow lose that, I also have another backup of it, just in case. Okay, so now that you have a backup in case uh, things go not so well, you simply need to go to the description of this video and download uh, this one um, zip file and it should contain load for delta one sp dot dll uh, the other dll here and one exe so you just need to uh, select all of those and just drag and drop them there but uh, in my case i already have them installed so now that you have those installed you need to go to your players folder and then go to your config.cfg and preferably open it with notepad plus plus Okay, so now that you have your config file opened here, you simply need to make a new line here anywhere on the top where it says these other binds here. I prefer to put mine in here and then just type bind space a key of your choice space then a quotation mark toggle console altogether there and then the quotation mark. So every time you press whatever key you have put in here, it should um, open the console for you but I have the tilde key which usually comes uh, standard in the code games so it's bound to that and I'd, I have uh, preferred to use that here then you simply just need to uh, save this thing here and you can close this config and we will see what happens in game okay so now as you can see here the uh, game has launched successfully here and as you can see we can select uh, special ops here we could go play a mission in here or we could go back to main menu to the campaign and select a mission from here and now when you press the key of your choice that you bound your console to for example for me it's the tilde key now when i press it so like this you can see the console opens and it says iw4 and then 1.0 so that's the game version that we're at, uh, but to be honest the version really doesn't matter because uh, this is like the modified EXE of the regular campaign that uh, has actually the console enabled uh, along with the DLL files that actually make it work. Okay, so now when we type here for example dev map and let's go play roadkill, we can see that the mission loads nicely here and in a few centuries time we will actually load the game here itself okay so now as you can see here uh, the game works all right already yeah i'm getting up like this and now if we run to cover here and we type for example cg underscore field of view 90 you can see uh, the field of view increases but uh, let's set it to 80 so we don't actually rape some of your guys' eyes like someone has once said that i use way too big field of view uh, then if we type something like uh, uh, player underscore sustain uh, ammo one uh, you can see we have uh, unlimited ammo here which is very nice 
Um, then of course we have uh, God, and I actually have bound my in button to um, no clip, so you can easily bind stuff like slash bind, uh, then the thing you want, or the button you want to bind this bind to, and then the uh, command. So for me, the in button is for no clip. And as you can see here, we can easily tail these guys out here. And yeah, with the Afghani Taliban here. Okay, so um, as you can see, it works here. And if this actually, uh, if the tutorial helped you at least a bit, then just make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and yes i've been kark and i will see you in the next video bye bye